Hello, my name is Mr. Dog, and today we're going to be looking at the Mew 3 Wilder deck and Expanded. Mew 2 and Mew GX has the ability Perfection. Let's just copy any attacks from our Pokemon GX on our bench or in our discard pile. And um, the GXs we're going to be playing are Reshiram and Charizard GX, has the Outrage attack, does 30 base damage, and does 10 more for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So if, if our opponent hits into this but doesn't knock it out, we can do quite a bit of damage with it. Flare Strike is also pretty good for 230 damage. We also have a GX attack, Double Blaze, does 200 base damage, but if we have 3 extra energy attached, we can do 300 damage. And I should probably mention how we're going to accelerate Fire Energy into play. We're going to be using Welder, lets us attach 2 Fire Energy cards from our hand to one of our Pokemon, and then we get to draw 3 cards. We also play Charizard GX, mostly for its Flare Blitz GX attack, we, we can do 300 damage for 4 energies. We play Mag Cargo GX, for its Lava Flow attack we do 50 base damage, and then we can do 50 more damage for each basic energy we discard from this Pokemon. So if, if we discard um, 6 energies, we can do 350 damage. The last GX we have is Incineroar GX for its Darkest Tornado attack. It has 10 base damage, and this attack does 50 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. We also have some non-GX attackers. We have Cramorant V for its Split Shot attack. We, we can discard all energy from this Pokemon, and we get to do 160 damage to one of our opponent's Pokemon. So really good for sniping things like the Dene GX. Well, for sniping things that like we've damaged but we can't finish off. We also have Radiant Charizard, has the Excited Heart ability. This Pokemon's attack does one colorless energy less for each prize card our opponent has taken. So that means if our opponent only has two prize cards left, we can use Combustion Blast to do 250 damage for one fire energy, which is pretty good. We play three copies of Bravery Charm. This gives our base at Pokemon plus 50 HP. So that means our tag team GXs will have 320 HP, which is very tanky. Okay, so that's going to wrap up the introduction. Let's get on some battles. Okay, we're going second against Dark Box, I think. Um, okay, so we'll bench this. Attach this to here. Discard this. Grab the Dene. Switch into this so we can draw an extra card. Crobat. We'll probably Outrage here for 30 damage if we can. Um, okay, perfect. Because then we can use Flare Strike next turn to get the knockout. Okay, another Bravery Charm, that's pretty good. And just Outrage. 30 damage. I don't think they can realistically get um, enough energies to do enough damage with Dark Pulse. Goes Hala. Big Charm. Why not play Bravery Charm? Because you can use Bravery Charm on tag teams. But um, Chaotic Swell is quite annoying, to be honest, because it means we can't use our Giant Hearth and our um, Heat Factory Prism Star straight away. Also, the Big Charm is actually still quite annoying because it means we don't get the Knockout with Flare Strike anymore. Um, okay. What, did they just use not to attack me? That was weird. We actually can get the knockout of Mag Cargo if we find Welder and two energies. Or we can use the Jex, um, Jex attack on the Charizard Jex as well. Um, so we'll discard this. And I guess we'll discard this as well. And we'll do Dene. Okay, we just whiffed the welder, unfortunately. Um, so I guess we'll just outrage again. I, sh I probably should have put a giant half down to discard the chaotic swell. That's my mistake. Boss's orders. So you can do 120 damage. Okay, cool. I'm really regretting not putting the giant half down now. We could have used Heat Factory to draw some cards. Um, so I, I guess we'll just attach to here. So we'll get the K on the Dedene. Cynthia Caitlin. Okay, cool. And we'll just get the response knockout with um, Flare Strike. So 
Let's see what we get with um, Heat Factory first though. And we'll attach to this one. Okay. So you probably have to find another Pokemon here to attack with. Incineroar. Okay, they are starting to get some energies into play, but I think it's too little too late. I'm not really going to be able to get enough to KO my Rashes hard. I can use a GX attack, which might buy them some time. It'll stop, it'll stop us from using um, trainer cards. Okay, no, they're not going to do that. They're just going to use Black Lance. So now I can just do this. I only have one energy, so we need to do this. Go to Quick Ball. Then Welder. One, two. Then we can use the Jex attack for 300 damage to win the game. Okay, we're going to second against Chen Pao. Um, so. We'll grab Mewtwo and weld onto it. I'll put this down, touch this, burn this, and we use Crobat for five. We need to find an energy and a switching card just so we can get a punch onto this. Attach this and we can still do Zene. Uh, we actually we whiffed the switching cards, but that's fine. Um because we, we could maybe use um the GX attack with 300 damage next turn on either the Charizard GX or the Reshizard. Which is not bad to knock out the Palkia V Star. Excalibur. They do hit us for weakness. They do hit our fire Pokemon for weakness, but it should be fine as long as we attack with Mewtwo most of the time. Escape rope. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, let's end up this. So we're going to take two prizes now instead of one. Although this could be a good ta good attacker to have at some point, I guess. Still, so it's kind of nice that it survives. Oh, they they didn't attack. Interesting. I guess what I should do is I should tap you for like a research here. Just so I need to try and find the Reshizard and and a way to switch. Attach this to here. Okay, perfect. So we'll discard the Reshizard. Then we'll get a knockout of Flare Strike. And we can get a knockout on this Palkia next turn quite easily with the GX attack. And then we just need to take out one more two prizes to win the game. So it's looking pretty good for us. This is going to hit into us, but with subspace swell can attach an energy onto here to use it as an attacker, potentially. I can actually use um, Darkest Tornado GX for 810 damage, or just do that for the memes, I guess. Get Wilder Cherish Ball, so that will allow us to get another Pokemon set up next turn. And we could just win right here if they don't get another basic Pokemon. Boss, boss still isn't going to work because we just have switch in hand.
Well, they can get a knockout on the Charizard, but then we just win the game. They should really just concede at this point. I guess I guess they do get extra XP for taking a prize card. So maybe that's why they're doing it. Okay, that's going to wrap up the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!